What's up everyone? Chaotic Singularity here, or you can call me Sin. This is the very first awesome is Black Ops 2 gameplay video coming towards you. It's pretty awesome. I am having a blast with this game, and I'm going to tell you guys my first impressions on it, and kind of give you some comparison on this to the last games, like uh, Modern Warfare 3, for example. It's I guess it wouldn't be that bad to compare it, but it is a big difference between the two games. Obviously, it's two different developers, and I'm just having a ton of fun with this game. And this is my first impressions video, so hopefully you enjoy. Yes, as you can see, and if you haven't noticed already, 16 by 9, 1080p. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. First time, you could kind of make this video a quality test, but it's not actually a quality test because I find those videos kind of pointless. But this is my first video with my new capture card. It's the Elgato game capture. If you haven't seen the unboxing, it's pretty cool. It's I'm loving it. It's just like uh, not McDonald's reference or anything, but it, it is an amazing capture card. I am like. I've never seen quality this amazing. I'm gonna render this video in 1080p just to show you guys how amazing this is and to give you the best quality, because like I've said in my other videos, that's what I'm all about. Anyways, let's get to the point here, guys. This is my first impression video on this amazing game, and holy crap, I am I'm looking forward to seeing what this game has to offer later in the future. And first off, as you can see, I'm playing Nuketown 2025. It's a whole redone map of Nuketown, the original one from the Black Ops 1 game, and I'm... It, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna be saying that word a lot in this video because this game is truly... it's phenomenal. And the textures, all the colors, everything about it, just the, the graphics in general are just so much better, and I, it's crazy. Okay, first off, I want to talk about the developer, Triarch. Thank you so much for making this game. It's, it's amazing. Uh, you might not watch this video, but I'm having a ton of fun with it, and please keep making Call of Duties, because maybe even make the next one, because I I don't give a crap about Infinity War anymore. Call of Duty 4 was a total game changer. Modern Warfare 2, it was pretty fun. Had a lot of good times with it. Black Ops 1 was, actually, I didn't really like Black Ops 1 at the very beginning, but then it grew on me, and then I realized how amazing the game was. Modern Warfare 3? No. <laughs> Surprisingly, I made it to like 8th Prestige, but I I hated that game, to be honest with you. It was just... The storyline was alright, but other than that, it was just whatever. Anyways, <laughs> okay. First thing I love about this game is the Pick 10 Creative Class. It is truly revolutionary in every way. It's totally bumps customization in a Call of Duty game by like a billion percent. It, so what, if you guys don't know, and obviously you probably do because this game sold like 8 million copies in the first like 15 hours, but if you guys don't know, the pick 10 creative class basically is you have 10 tokens, you could kind of say, not really, but you have 10 places to put your classes, and you can mix and match it to whatever you want. Up to two uh, perks for each section. There's three sections of perks, so you can ha have up to six perks, which is awesome. Um, not just that, but also you can, like for me, uh, for uh, my sniper class, obviously I have a secondary because I, uh, I like quick scoping, but when they're too close, I like to switch. And yeah, so that's nice, but if you don't like, for like this class here, I don't have a secondary because it's amazing I, I can do it. <laughs> and what that makes me do is I can say I have 10 out of 10, and I'm like, okay, I really want that second perk, so I want like... Lightweight and Hardline, for instance. I'll take away that secondary and put in that next perk. And what that, but there's one thing, there's thing called wild cards. And what that is, is basically uh, if I want that second perk, I need the wild card for me to be able to take that second perk. Same thing goes with, for example, three attachments. Weapons, I love. They're just completely balanced for a new Call of Duty game to just ship like a week. Uh, and it's it's amazing. Pistols, completely overpowered, which I love. Pistols should be overpowered. I hated how in every other Call of Duty game, it's like five hits to kill someone with a pistol. Like, seriously? It's just retarded. And I love how they made them actually really, really good in this game. Uh, not just the weapons, but also uh, equipment. That is extremely OP, too. Uh, 
I'm not the biggest fan of how OP for like a concussion is. Example also, or it's not example, aka also known as your concussion uh, stun grenades. I, they are, <laughs> they're really bad. They're really good for, let's say, uh, if you're using them. But I prefer the shock charge or shock stick. And, oh, I hate getting stunned because it's, you move around so slow. Like, I've never, it is, if you get stunned and someone runs in, you're dead. If you're facing the other way. There's, it's no way you can turn around in the time it gives you. So we got that. Also, the, the sounds in this game <laughs> are just bloody amazing. The announcing that the, the, the narrator does, your team narrator, he's really awesome. They're all really cool. And they have epic voices. Uh, the sounds for the guns are extremely well. There is not many guns that sound the same. I love what silencers sound like in this game. For example, the 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 DR, DSR 50, possibly the best sniper bolt action. Ballista is all right, but the DSR 50 is definitely up there. And with the silencer, it sounds so cool. It sounds almost like a paintball gun, and that's what I really like to hear when uh, I use a silencer, so it kind of sounds like a paintball gun. Uh, the graphics, like I've said, the graphics are phenomenal. The colors, they're vibrant, they're lush, they pop out at you. It's not like Modern Warfare 3 where everything's gray and brown. This actually has some color to it. There's been a lot of people saying about the leg, and to be honest, I've, I've, I haven't gone any leg. I might have got one or two games that the host had to uh, be migrated, but other than that, it's been completely lag free for me, which is awesome for a huge launch like Call of Duty. Uh, new game modes. I love uh, Hardpoint. Hardpoint is extremely awesome. It's basically capture, uh, not capture, like King of the Hill, and that moves all over the place. And I'm not sure what that's called in Halo, but uh, maybe it's even just called King of the Hill. But that's also, it's a really fun game mode. Uh, there is also. They have one in the chamber and sticks and stones and that other gun game, which is amazing. I love those from the original Black Ops, and I'm so glad they brought it in. And instead of since there's no currency in this game, you get XP, which is awesome. I love one in the chamber. It's such a fun game game mode. Nuketown, obviously, that's a huge plus for me. Nuketown is probably the greatest map in every Call of Duty. There's also another map in Black Ops called Hijacked, which is a boat, and it's almost laid out exactly the same as Nuketown is, but you're on a boat, which is really sweet. Amazing maps. Though there's only one map that I don't like, and that's Slums. Uh, I'd probably like it more for Search and Destroy, but for uh, a spawn, like a fast spawn game mode, example, you know, TDM, Domination, it's just, ah, I, I don't like it that much at all. It's just, it doesn't really work for me. Sniping in this game is... is amazing. <laughs> I gotta think of a different word than amazing, but sniping this game is truly awesome. They've done a, an amazing job onto it. Like, the sniping is superb. One hit kills mostly all the time. Nothing about those stupid hit marks. Obviously, unless you hit them in the leg for, or something like that. But sniping is just a phenomenal. Extremely balanced and just played perfectly. The There's new uh, changes to game modes. So, as I'm playing right now, I'm playing Domination. And back maybe five minutes ago, you saw that there was two rounds, and which is I think is really really smart of them to do that. Just having the two rounds, just to switch sides, kind of play the game from two different angles, makes domination a lot more fun. The color textures, like I just said, so far I'm having I have, I've played the first couple levels in campaign. I'm not going to spoil anything so far, but the campaign is actually pretty fun. I, I love the Black Ops 1 campaign, probably as much as I love Call of Duty 4's campaign, and that says a lot because Call of Duty 4's campaign was, I don't know, it was just really, really, really well done. And to have someone like the, the director or, or the writer from Batman or something like that, that he's actually do, like writing the campaign, just is really, really cool. And I, it just, it, you just feel like it's like a movie, basically. It's just really, really cool. Anyways, guys, that's my quick first impressions video. I hope you enjoyed it, and please subscribe if, if you haven't already and if you enjoyed this video. As you can see, I went 32 and 7. So if you want to, as you can see in front of you, that little box right there, if you want to click that, that'll take me to take you, actually, to my last video. 
and I believe my last video was an unboxing of the Harden Edition. So if you haven't seen the uh, the unboxing of that in any other videos, check that one out too, guys. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace out.